Cloudy and chilly. Good day to stay inside as we did get into the colder air and really we stayed under mostly cloudy skies or overcast skies all day, so it didn't warm up at all as the temperatures came down and basically hovered in the 50s all afternoon. Now dew point stayed near the temperature, so it has had more of a damp feel at times, a little low cloudiness, patchy fog, although that really has not been an issue most of the day. We are going to stay under mostly cloudy skies with those showers heading our way tomorrow. Today's high 57 degrees, and that'll be interesting because temperatures may not really go anywhere through the latter part of the night and into overnight. In fact, they may start to increase as we get toward early tomorrow morning and then likely kind of a spike in temperatures, maybe just for the south shore and down toward the coast as the cold front approaches. I'll explain why in a moment. 50s across most of the region, but the 60s have been hovering just south of the city and down toward the coast, so it wouldn't take much to see the temperatures start increasing. That something may be a southerly wind, which looks to return overnight. Wind or excuse me, temperatures on the wide scale, though, it just has been incredible how close we have been. So those sub-freezing temperatures and the ice that we have seen in parts of North Louisiana, Texas, more so Arkansas, northern Mississippi, and into Tennessee. The dew points did come down, but again, the temperature dew point very close together, which is why the humidity has been high. Now, so far today, the winds have been favoring more of a northerly direction, but it does look like overnight we will start to see those winds changing direction. So probably before daybreak, we'll start to see temperatures rise. Here's the upper system that we've been kind of well forecasted that is going to start approaching over the course of the next, say, 24 plus hours. With it, it's going to bring this moisture our way. However, we are not looking at sub freezing temperatures. So the ice, snow, sleet, that's not coming our way. What is coming our way is rainfall. And in fact, it shouldn't be an all day event. Most of the early part of the day should be rather dry. Now, the big key for our temperatures tomorrow is just how far north this warm front can make it. Again, we'll stay on the cooler side overnight and in the 50s, but slowly warming. If we can get the, the warmer air sector, could easily see lower 70s. And it may be that our temperatures are kind of split with the South Shore getting into the 70s and North Shore staying in the 60s. By midday, early afternoon, rainfall moving in. Again, not an all day rain. It looks like starting to taper off by the evening. May still have a little overrunning moisture early Friday. I think more than anything, it'll just be under partly to mostly cloudy skies in the morning and then sunshine and that chilly air moves in and that'll stay with us for at least the clearer sky through Saturday may start to see an increase in cloud cover by Sunday because here's the upper system that's bringing in our rainfall. Then behind it, chilly weather. We'll see another upper disturbance. See this little kink in the isobars. This is going to be another little upper trough that moves in on Sunday. Right now, models keeping any rainfall offshore. So for the parades on Sunday, I think they'll be dry, but maybe a little bit more cloud cover as we wrap up the weekend. Looking ahead to that rain chance tomorrow, Storm Prediction Center has removed even that low end risk for severe weather, but kind of keeping in place a higher, slightly higher uh, threat for some isolated flooding, more so into southwestern Mississippi, because it looks like that's where most of our higher rainfall totals, the accumulation overall, will be. For most of our viewing area, rainfall accumulations should be minor. Maybe a few isolated spots where you get maybe a bit of a training type rainfall event, but I don't think that's going to be a widespread concern at all. So more of just a nuisance rain for many of us during the day Thursday. Again, may see that spike in temperature. 73 is more south shore. North shore will probably stay in the 60s and then dropping through the latter part of the day, evening and night. 40s to wake up to Friday, Friday with more sunshine, high of only 55 degrees. May actually be warmer than we have been during the day today. A chilly start to the day on Saturday, high of 60. We're right back into the 70s by next week.